Now let's contrast what happens in the esophagus when a reflux event takes place with what happens in the larynx or the bronchi or the nasal passages. Because the predominant substance that causes the injury is known as pepsin, which is a normal digestive enzyme produced by your stomach, the difference is that the pepsin in the esophagus, once it enters the esophagus, cannot stick to the tissue because of the mucus layer. However, the mucus layer in the larynx or the upper airway area is actually very thin. And so the pepsin is finally absorbed directly into the tissue and it remains there resident without causing any damage. However, in the course of our day, we typically will eat or drink many acid type foods or beverages such as fruit juices or other fruits such as citrus, tomato-based products, just to name a few. And when the acid in our food or beverages comes in contact with the tissue that has the pepsin inside the tissue, the pepsin then activates. And when it does that, it creates an inflammatory response. That inflammatory response can result in pain in your throat, increased mucus production, uh, loss of voice strength or hoarseness, and it can even be as serious as causing bronchitis, pneumonia, chronic nasal drip, pain into the ears, and in some cases, sleep apnea.